Hi, I'm Dr. Christiana Wolf with Inside LA, and today I want to share a short self-compassion practice with you. So self-compassion has three different phases. The first one is mindfulness. Can we acknowledge that what is happening is happening and it's painful? Second is what we call shared humanity. Can we remember that no matter what we're feeling, other people are feeling that too or have felt that before, which is not to diminish what we're feeling, but to acknowledge that this is actually a common response to the situation that we're in. And then the third one is self-kindness. So let's practice this. So I'm inviting you to close your eyes if that feels okay. You can have your eyes open. If you want, you can put a hand on your chest. So sometimes that's actually a really nice gesture that your body will understand, a gesture of physical support. So just feeling what that feels like. And then recalling this difficult moment, or maybe you're right in it, just saying something to yourself like, this is a challenging moment. Or this is a hard moment right now. Or this is difficult to be with. This is a moment of pain. Or just ouch. So whatever feels right to you in this moment. Then the second step is the shared humanity. So you can find a phrase again that works for you. And I find that the more specific you are, the better it works. So you could say something like, this is what it feels like for somebody filling in the specifics in this situation, filling in the specifics to feel this way. And just allowing yourself to feel that, that this is a normal response, a natural response to whatever you're experiencing right now. And if you like, in your mind's eye, like recalling or bringing to mind all the people who have ever felt this way before or who are feeling exactly this way right now. You might not know anybody else who's feeling this way right now, but you can be assured many people have felt this way before and are feeling exactly the same way right now. And just staying with the breath, breathing that in, maybe picturing yourself in a circle with these people. Knowing there's nothing wrong with you that you feel that way. And then the third step is self-kindness. So you could say to yourself, may I be kind to myself? May I keep my heart open? May I stay present and kind? May I not exclude myself from the circle of kindness? So just feeling into whatever words resonate with you but just remembering kindness and again, maybe feeling the hand on your chest. And with that, I'm sending you into your day. I hope this is helpful and thank you for practicing with me.